cute little brownie mice for Halloween. Let's see what's cooking. Let's get the facts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for Yo Yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a brownie recipe. Now, I just used a brownie mix that I had in the cupboard. And you know what, to be honest, with this kind of thing, you'll be putting chocolate on top of it, cherry in that. It doesn't matter if it's a box mix. It actually saves you a lot of time. So bake the brownies, cool them completely. Now the very edges are going to be a little bit hard. So take a part of the middle part, then take a maraschino cherry that has a stem attached, pat the cherry dry, and then you're going to push that cherry into the brownie piece so that the maraschino cherry stem sticks out like a little tail. And then just gently pat and mold the brownie. The brownie uh, will actually kind of be a little like Play-Doh once you pat it down a bit. And just make it so it's smooth and you want to shape it into a mouse, which means it's going to have like a rounded back end part and then a little point at the front for the snout. And you can make these whatever size you want. You'll be tempted to make them bigger because it'll go faster, but they are a lot cuter when they are smaller. Then put these in the refrigerator and let them chill for about 30 minutes or so. Then melt some chocolate. These are candy melts. Now I put them in a tall glass so that you get a nice deep well to dip these mice in and you don't have to melt as much. So dip it in. If you need a little help, use a spoon just to cover the mouse completely, leaving the maraschino chem stem out. And then just gently pull it out and then just very gently jiggle it a little bit just to allow the excess to fall off. You don't want to jiggle it too much because you're going to end up detaching your tail from the mouse. Now while this stuff is still not hardened, you want to do it while it's nice and melted, you're going to add some sliced almonds for ears. I used a little silver candy called a silver dragay for the nose and then whatever candies you want for the eyes. I had these little uh, candy coated chocolates and I found the red was the best color. Now, I eventually switched to, to tweezers to put these eyes on because it was a lot easier. You don't get as much chocolate on your fingers. And then the recipe site that I found this idea on suggested you use uncooked rice noodles for the whiskers. Now, in theory, this is awesome. They look really good. They're nice and thin. And in theory, they are edible. Like, they are edible. They would be categorized as edible. However, when you actually try to eat these rice noodles, uncooked rice noodles, they are super hard. I don't know how long you'd have to chew these things for them to become actually soft enough to swallow. But if you're going to serve these to kids, either tell them they have to remove them before they eat them or use something else like uh, those super thin chow mein noodles would do or eat maybe even some licorice would do the trick. If you can think of any other things to use for whiskers, please put them in the comment section below to help other people out. I did try a different kind of eyes for this. I used the orange instead of the red, and I used those little candy eyes uh, instead of the those little candy coated chocolates. And I found that the red candy coated chocolate looked the best to me. So I hope you give these a try for your Halloween party. Thanks so much for watching. Now here's another kind of mouse that you can make for your Halloween party. These are Mickey Mouse Mummy Cupcakes. Also quite easy to do and very cute. Bye-bye.